Hey guys, today we're back with another pocket review. And today on the channel, we'll be reviewing the Winston Biometric Pistol Safe. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Once again, today we're gonna to be reviewing the Winston Biometric Pistol Safe. This is a quick access safe, electronic, and it can hold up to two pistols. So let's go ahead and unbox it. And before we get into uh, any further into it, I've already been testing it. I've already actually been uh, playing with it for the last two or three weeks since I've had it. And uh, I thought I would just uh, get my honest opinion on it first before I done an unboxing and all that review to it, uh, just so I can show you all, you know, a little bit more about it than if I was just unboxing it and trying to figure it out on video as well. So we'll go ahead and jerk it out. See here, the box is now empty. Comes with these styrofoam pads on each side of it, keep it from getting banged up while it's on the way to you. It also comes with two keys to where you can get into the box right here in case the uh, uh, the thing goes dead or if it's not reading your thumbprint or you forget your code. So that's very nice to know. Also comes with uh, to where a pretty much a piece of lanyard that is made out of steel to where if you want to uh, tie it down somewhere so somebody just can't pick it up and run off with it. And you can also screw into the bottom of it into concrete or into something else to keep it uh, stationary. So let's go ahead and open it up. So see, that's all you had to do. I've got both of my thumbs <coughs> in the imprint here. <coughs> and whenever you actually uh, go to record your thumbprint, uh, you can do up to 50 different uh, imprints. It can be on any finger, it can be all of them, but they recommend to make sure that whenever you do one, to do multiples of it. So if you have to hit it in different angles, whatever, it will get it every time. Here you can see I've got one mag. The inside of it here is padded. You can see like a, uh, like a memory foam type of padding up here. The inside of it here as well is padded right here. And whenever you open it up, I don't know if you all got to see that or not, but there we go. But there is a light in here as well, as you can see. So whenever you open it up at night, it will be able to uh, show you what it is. But, uh, the thing about this is that it's really, to me anyway, it's more of a safe built for keeping a child from getting your gun. Uh, that being said, I've got a little girl right now and I've got a little boy on the way. And you know, this is something I've been looking forward to. The people at Winston actually come uh, to me and asked if I would review this for them. And I 100% appreciate them. Uh, let me review this product for them. But I think very well, you know, it can also be used for something to keep somebody from stealing your firearm. Had to make sure it was empty before we put it in here. Uh, it will keep somebody from stealing your firearm, don't get me wrong, but to me and my own uh, mindset and what I'm gonna be using this for is something to keep a child from getting in here to a gun while I'm either away at work or asleep or something like that. Because you all know children get into everything, especially whenever they get up to three, four, five year old. So, you know, we gotta make sure that the gun is safe so, you know, it don't hurt anybody that we don't want it to hurt. And that being said, as you can see here, this is the Glock 34, 5.31 inch barrel. Fits in here perfect with a compensator on the end of it as well, so it makes it probably almost to a six inch. But uh, plenty of another space for a Glock 17, possibly even another Glock 34 in here. We can see as well with everything going on with this. And see right there, it opened up the first time. A minute ago, it took I think two or three times but depending on how you lay your thumb on it, it automatically pops open and everything like that as well. So it's very nice. But there's multiple different ways to keep uh, this from being broke into. Here in the back, you can see this bevel here will keep somebody from putting a pry bar underneath here. Uh, very small through here, so it'll be very hard for somebody else to put a pry bar here as well. Uh, we'll open up this stuff right here and get a little bit more into the specifications of it on how to work some of it. Like I said, here is some of your stuff to keep it from being stolen. If you do live in an area where you might be getting broke in on, which I understand can happen to anybody, but um, come to safety instructions, product installation, battery installation, operation with the fingerprints, keypads, silent mode, 
and I also have it right now not on silent mode, so as you can see here whenever it actually opened up and all that. Uh, more functions, assembly, and securing the safe. So, right here, one thing I thought I'd say real quick as well. Inside of here, there is a little button that you can press and it resets the entire thing. You hold it in and that's whenever you're pressing your certain code. Go ahead and press it in right here. And I just I just reset the code right then. So one, two, one, five. There we go. So if you all would rather have a code on it, or just you can use both the code, the fingerprint, or the uh, keyhole. But as you've seen right there, one, two, one, five. Opens right up. Batteries it uses, I think, was triple, triple A's. Yep, four triple A batteries. And also, if something happens and the battery goes dead on it, there is a quick recharger on it right here where you can put in a micro USB and whenever you plug this in here, it will power the actual safe. So if say uh, uh, your batteries go dead, you don't use it for a while, you need to get into your gun or whatever else, you can plug this in, plug this into the wall and you've got full power once again. But uh, I've been using it now for right at three weeks. Uh, they sent it to me in the beginning of September and I got the coronavirus. So all I done was sit in the house and I play with it and it's worked 100% every single time for me, especially with the keypad. Uh, sometimes, depending on how you put your thumb and if you've got oil on them like I do now, it's just got, because I just got done with a shooting review myself, sometimes it will pick it up and sometimes it doesn't like it did a minute ago whenever I was hitting at an angle. But it's always smart to make sure that you put in multiple different uh, things of your thumb or whatever finger you prefer to use just to make sure that it will work most of the time. But guys, Without further ado, uh, if you're interested in the biometric pistol safe by Winston, I'll leave a um, I'll leave a link in the comment section below to their website, how you can get to them, and a few more of their details with the gun safe. Uh, like I said, overall, guys, very nice design, very well built, and I love how you can get into it very quickly with either just a press of a few buttons or my thumb. or by keyhole. Very, very nice design overall, and I like it a lot. But guys, appreciate y'all viewing. Like and subscribe for more product reviews. I'll see y'all in the next video.